It's time for another question from the big questions from Little People book. And today's question is, can a bee sting a bee? This has been answered by George, Dr. George McGavin, who is an entomologist. But this is what Dr. George McGavin says. Yes, it can. There are about 20,000 species of bee in the world, but let's look at honeybees and bumblebees. Although some species are stingless, female bees typically have a sting to defend their colony against enemies that might steal their honey or even eat the bees themselves. Male bees do not have a sting and do nothing in the colony except for a few of them that will mate with the queen bee. Honeybees will attack worker bees from other colonies if they try to enter, but a queen honeybee will only sting and kill other rival queens. A newly emerged queen will search the colony for cells where other queens are developing, and when she finds them, she will sting and kill them. Bumblebees will attack workers from other colonies too. They can sting them to death, but usually they bite them and drive them out. In some cases, the intruder may be able to hide inside the nest and may be accepted as a new member of the colony. Bumblebees also fight and sting each other within the nest. The reason is complicated, but it is basically a way of reducing the number of males the colony produces. Why do they need to reduce the number of males? Because worker bumblebees can lay unfertilised eggs which develop into males, but what the colony really needs are worker females. The worker bees of some honeybee species have a special killing technique for large predators such as giant hornets. They form a ball around them, and as the hundreds of bees vibrate their wing muscles, the temperature and carbon dioxide levels inside the ball of bees increase and kill the hornet.